Hi, Tippy. Hi. What are you doing? Hi, Maya. Yes, my mar yard is a mess full of toys and shoes and anything else the dogs decide to steal and take out to the yard. But mostly toys. And a few socks. They love socks. Sorry, the train's going by. We live by the train tracks and it's very loud. And there's Maya, my mini Aussie doodle. <laughs> She's about five, five and a half months, and she acts like she's already full grown. She's very sweet. Yes, she is. And super smart. And then that's Tippy, my F1 Labradoodle. I know she's super curly, but she is an F1. And they love to play. <coughs> Tippy usually being the bully or the dominant dog, which she totally is, 100% alpha female. But she's gentle. They never have real fights. It's always just play fighting. Which is pretty good considering I have three intact females, um, adult females, and one intact puppy girl that they never have fights. I've never had a I've never had a dog fight here. Knock on wood. It's all just play fighting, pretending. <laughs> and Maya is very boisterous and very loud and yappy. My other dogs hardly bark at all. Um, she's very vocal. And then Tippy here is just Miss, Miss Sweetheart. She just watches because she's pregnant and she's having a litter of puppies here in about mm, three weeks. Maya, what do you think about all that yapping, Tippy? Tippy is a what you would call a silver beige color in a poodle. But um, the Labradoodle community seems to call it something else. Um, they call it a cocoa or a parchment or anything but silver beige for some reason. Um, but I kind of understand because she's not really silver. She is an actual beige color. Um, she's got a, multiple colors in her coat. <clears throat> From red to brown and white. And she is fast. All the dogs are super fast. Um, they all come, well, all of them except for, well, okay. So Daisy and Tippy are mother and daughter. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Our mother and daughter. And then um, Paley I got from another breeder. And then um, I got, I brought, Maya come, hey, Maya. Maya comes from Molly. My Moyan Poodle and um, a little Australian Shepherd from, um, from another Aussie breeder. Maya, hush. But I did breed her. Um, the only dog I didn't breed is um, Pele, the white poodle. She comes from Heritage Service Dogs. Maya, stop. Like I said, she is a puppy, so she does kind of act out a little bit. The barking I would call acting out. I don't like the barking. Maya! 
I don't think it's necessary to bark when they're playing. Maya? Maya? Hush. Maya? Maya? She just can't seem to help herself. I think that's part of the uh, mini poodle in her. Because, or I don't know, maybe the Aussie. It just des doesn't come from the standard poodle. The p standard poodles are not yappy. Um, her mom is a Moyen, which they consider to be a small standard anyway. But she is a small um, standard poodle, really. She's about 18 inches tall and about 18 pounds. Um, Daisy, the brown poodle, she's about 20 inches tall and 45 pounds. Her daughter, Tippy, the Labradoodle, she's about um, 50 pounds, 55 pounds, and she's pregnant right now, so she's a little bit bigger. Um, Paley is about 40 pounds. Um, she is a party poodle. She's apricot and white, but you can't really tell because she looks um, solid white. Um, but she, her brothers and sisters were all like black and white. And so she just doesn't have a lot of color pigment, pigmentation to her, but if you look at her skin, you can see um, the spots on her skin. Hey! Maya! I don't know how exciting this video is, but I just thought it'd be fun to video, video the dogs. These are all the dogs I have um, that live in the house with me. <laughs> hey! We do not use kennels. Um, this is the only kennel I own and it basically is overgrown. It's not used. It's nice to have like when you have a litter of puppies and you want to um, keep them outside but you're I get afraid of like hawks and owls and stuff coming swooping down and stealing them or eating them so I got this um, little kennel that they can like play in during the day when I'm not watching and they're safe but otherwise we don't use kennels um, it's just it's just there it's nice to have but like I don't believe in kenneling dogs for lifetimes I think it's disgusting um, Dogs are companion animals and meant to be treated as such that they should be in the home with you. Right, Tippy? Right? Tell Mommy. Tell the people what you think about that. What do you think? Tippy's been here since she was born. She's an amazing dog. Super obedient. Sweet, loving, funny. Um, easy has beautiful puppies. It's just a beautiful all-around dog, huh, Tippy? He's a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And then we got these two. <laughs> Pele and Daisy. Pele, what are you doing? What are you doing? She needs to be groomed. <laughs> it's so hard to keep Pele clean because she's pure white. And then she digs these holes in my yard where she sticks her whole head in and gets filthy dirty and then comes back in the house to share her mess with me because she loves me so much. And now Where's Maya? She does the same exact thing. In fact, she has been digging under the fence. And I recently got a note on my door, so embarrassing, saying, um, your puppy has been digging her way out of their fence. And I got her on the other side, and I see the hole that she's going in and out of. And I just wanted to let you know. OMG, I was so embarrassed. So I had to go fix the hole that Maya had um, successfully built. And, um, yeah, so that's scary. And hopefully um, I fix the problem. But, yeah, they dig. Um, they dig for about the first year and a half. You will find that um, doodles, poodles, Aussies, most dogs in general, um, go through a digging stage around, um, you know, from about four months until they're about a year and a half. 
they dig and they chew and they what else do they do jump up and be all around bad for the first year at least so it what are you doing Maya leave poor Tippy alone What are you doing, Tips? You hear that owl? You hear that owl? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's an owl in the trees. The road next to our house is so loud in videos. It's really not even a very busy road. Hey, Daisy. This is what I'm talking about. Maya. <laughs> what are you guys digging for? Worms? Pele. What are you digging for? Hmm? Look at all the holes you've made in my yard. And all the toys. Where are you guys going? Hey. You can totally tell Tippy's pregnant. Look how big you're getting. Maya, what are you doing? Maya is an F1 mini Aussie Doodle, Daisy standard poodle, Pele standard poodle who needs to be groomed because she's a little tomboy and likes to dig and get dirty and I can't seem to keep her clean for the life of me. And there you can see a sock which they love to uh, steal. Daisy where are you, I mean Tippy where are you going? Tippy. You can see that they've uh, grown their little path here. Not grown, but worn. It's a pretty day. Actually, evening. I hear that owl. The owl's not over there, you guys. Okay, well this is boring. But these are my dogs. These are my good dogs. Okay. Signing out. Hey, Tippy. Say bye. Tippy. Tippy, sit.
Tippy sit. Tippy sit. Tippy. Look at mommy. Good girl. She's such a good girl. Yes, she's a good girl. Okay, so that's Tippy. Say bye-bye. What are you doing, monkey butt?